My goal for this week is to get the uh, gable ends uh, sheeted with OSV, uh, both front and back, as well as uh, cut out the door and set up the outriggers for the fascia. That should be uh, quite a bit this week. It's, <clears throat> it's going to be kind of challenging since I'm by myself. My plan is to try and utilize the uh, uh, tractor as much as I can to help do the lifting so that I'm not monkeying around at the top of a ladder trying to lift uh, lift stuff up. You know, there's a certain bit that I understand my age and that I'm breakable. So it's uh, it's better not to uh, not to screw around with it, and I will utilize the tractor where I can. Uh, but that's the goal for this week, is to get that done. Hopefully, if all goes well, I'll be able to get... Uh, start getting on the sheeting on the roof but that is a that's a long shot so we'll just have to wait and see but uh, next up we'll uh, get started on doing the doing the osb and cutting some doors out and getting prepped for that so let's head on out and get started While I was a good student, there isn't much of what I learned from school that I use today outside of the basics of English, math, and science. I even went on to earn a degree in business. Needless to say, most of what I learned were things I didn't care about. But I was used to that, because all throughout my life, ever since I was a little kid, I'd been almost exclusively learning stuff I didn't care about. Long division, covalent bonds, trigonometry. For the first 25 years of my life, I spent my days learning these things. I used to study them for hours, write notes on them, write reports about them, prepare speeches about them, stress about them before exam, and guess what? I didn't care about any of them. I spent 90% of my life learning about things I couldn't give two shits about, with a few exceptions. The truth is that most of my skill in both business and trades was learned by doing, not by what I learned in school. The high school I went to was one of two in the city I grew up in, and it was an ag school. And by that, I mean it was created more for farming and ranching in the area with the programs that it offered, on top of the regular curriculum of high school. The school had the usual wood shop, metal shop, and auto shops at the time, but it also offered programs called Regional Occupational Programs, or ROPs. For those not familiar, a Regional Occupational Program is a program that allows high school students and adults to learn important occupational skills in a tuition-free environment. These programs were designed to help a person get a certificate in things like culinary arts, construction, automotive repair, agriculture, business, and healthcare. I say this because during my senior year of high school, I only needed two classes to graduate, so I spent a majority of my time in either shop classes or in ROP classes. And that was the beginning of the learning skills that I have today. I learned about both small and large engine repair, metal and woodwork, and of course, meat cutting and agriculture. While my career would not take me into these professions, these skills I learned would be used throughout my career in many different ways. Well, it certainly is fall, that's for sure. And uh, we just had a 
day or two of some uh, low pressure and storms and got snow on the mountains and uh, had rain here at the property so that slowed me down for a day or two which is fine because I actually needed the break and uh, the weather provided a nice uh, opportunity to to do that something I won't do for myself I'll just, if there's uh, available weather to work I will definitely be working so you know weather intervened slowed me down for a day or two but anyway this uh, goal for this week is to uh, get the outriggers up on the uh, gable ends of the building and uh, put up the uh, fascia brain fart anyway to put up the fascia all around the building and get that squared away for starting to sheet the roof so if all goes well if the weather cooperates uh, we'll be able to I'll be able to get uh, get all of the trim on or the fascia boards on and uh, begin starting the uh, roofing part of this and putting down the sheeting that's my goal anyway it's pretty lofty but we'll see what we can get done Now, some 30 years later, I employ all those skills I've acquired as I build this homestead from the ground up. Skills I do not possess, I learn as I go, ever enhancing the previous skills. And that to me is the joy of learning. We are so blessed to live in a day and age where we have abundant learning opportunities easily accessible at our fingertips. Learning new skills or subjects has never been easier. We can look on YouTube to learn plumbing, how to play an instrument, or even play a sport. We have podcasts at our disposal that teach us about any subject underneath the sun. The internet supplies countless resources to guide us as we navigate our way through any topic. So what's holding you back? To my ways, to the 
sanctuary no body stays but I There is so much to know in the world, so much knowledge, that almost all of us concentrate on the most boring things possible. But I've learned the world becomes a different place when you start soaking up knowledge that actually excites you. When I was growing up, my mother always said, we learn something new every day. It's one of her sayings that I will always remember. I love the idea of learning something new each day and the hope that it gives me to know that there's always something new to discover. To me, this means that life will never be boring. I can choose to learn something new and challenge myself to grow. The world is so exciting and vibrant, there's so much to do, that even 10 lifetimes wouldn't be enough to do everything I want. Learning doesn't stop when I finish school. In fact, it believe that it's exactly when it starts. You're done with all the bullshit then. No more exams and lectures or required papers. You can finally start learning whatever you want. And you must keep learning because if you don't, if you don't keep acquiring new knowledge, what are you doing? So that's my message to all of you today. Start learning something you've always wanted to learn. Excite your mind. Feel the sparkle inside yourself when you learn something new and realize you've done a little bit closer to the person you want to be. Do it now. Today I'm going to 
be uh, putting on the fascia and, and looking at this since I'm out here by myself again. I've got to reach from this point here all the way down to this end here uh, with a pretty long piece of uh, two by six in order to put that up. And so trying to figure out how to do that, I went ahead and I made myself a little helper jig that I'll put about halfway down the way here to hold up the board as I'm working on the high point on the gable end. <clears throat> so a little bit of a trick, uh, we'll see if it works. Hopefully it will, because uh, if not, I gotta engineer something else out to try and get it sorted out. Anyway, we'll give it a try. Math has never been my strong suit for sure, but uh, I manage. Anyway, it took me a little bit to figure out the uh, exact angles that I needed for the for the peak, and then also for the ends to tie in uh, along the horizontal side of the building. But anyway, I think I got that figured out and uh, got both sides cut, the front and the back, and so now we'll get busy trying to hang these up and, uh, and see if we don't break our neck on the ladder. So, we'll see. Well, that took me a better part of a day to get the uh, fascia on and uh, installed correctly, but I did get it done. And so uh, that's one major task out of the way uh, before I start sheeting this roof. So hopefully in the next couple of days, we'll begin starting that and uh, get on the roof deck. That would be uh, that would be ideal, but we'll have to wait and see. And what slowed me down was uh, having to figure out angles and doing some math, but uh, I used all 10 fingers and some toes and I managed to get it done. Not not one of my better not one of my better things. I cut a lot of small pieces to figure it out, but I got it done. All right, on to sheeting. Even in the 